This is the second badly structured sales data and it is evidently very similar to the first one. However, we have to take a different approach to deal with this one. Now, let me explain why. You are also very likely to have a data set or to have different types of data that will look like this. There's an approach for us to deal with something like this too. So essentially, we need the ship modes to go inside a column like this. And we also need the segments to also go inside a column like that. Then the order date is already okay. It remains in a column. The order ID rather. And the order date is also okay because that also remains in a column. Then we we'll eventually tie back the numbers to it to have our sales column. So I'm going to import this data into my Power Query and we're going to see why we have to use a different approach to deal with this. So for my Power Query editor, I have to go to my Home tab. Then I'm going to click on New Source and bring in the Excel workbook. And I will be connecting to the number two badly structured sales data. So again, I have to connect to the dirty one. I'm going to click OK here. So obviously, like I said in the earlier video, the moment you realize that you have to treat or you have to correct more than one row of the data, you have to take more than one row of the data into a column. Once you have that scenario in play, then you know that you must do a transpose of your data set. And if you have to do a transpose of your data set, you don't want to have any of those rows being used by Power Query as a header row. So you first of all have to come to your apply steps, make sure you remove the chain type set that you have and also remove the promoted headers that you have just before the chain type. So now we are going to have all our data rows in view and our objective one more time is we need to make row one to become a column. We also need to make row two to become a column. And then we need these other IDs and these other dates to remain inside columns just the way they are right now. So if I go to my transform tab, and I do a transpose, what well, you are going to see that, yes, good and fine, I now have my ship mode inside a column, and I also have my segment inside a column. However, I now have, again, two rogue rows, because my other IDs are now inside a singular row, and my other dates are now also inside a singular row which means I am technically back to square one because anytime you have to deal with more than a singular row of data, anytime you need to transpose more than a singular row of data, you know that you have to use transpose because right now I have to transpose the other IDs. I also have to transpose the other dates. So essentially I can keep on clicking transpose. I will basically be going in circles and I'll be going in circles. So in order for us to avoid that, we are going to apply a trick. So first, let me delete all the transpose steps that I have carried out here. So the trick to this is I'm going to select my column one. I will hold control to select my column two. And then I can right click on any of those two headers and I will simply merge those two columns together. Now, when I merge the two columns together, I want to ensure that I put in a separator to demarcate the two of them. And I will go to use an unusual separator that I am sure does not exist inside the data set. I will be careful enough not to use space. I will be careful enough not to use hyphen. And I will also be careful enough not to use forward slashes because they already exist inside the data content somewhere there. So I can use something like a semicolon here. I can leave the name as merge if I like. I'm going to click OK here. Then I have essentially merged the contents of the other IDs and the other dates together. Now you can see where this is going to play out now because if I go to my transform tab and I click transpose, you will see that my ship modes are properly inside a column. My segments are properly inside a column. And then the only thing I need to bring back now are the combinations of my other IDs and my other dates, which means I will start by using my first row as headers. I need to correct the column names, right? So you can correct that. 
and also I have to fill this column down so I can right click on the ship mode and fill down then I'm going to select the ship mode column I will hold control to select the segment column I am going to right click and on pivot other columns now you know what we are going to do next this attribute contains two kinds of data variables I have my other IDs here and I also have my other dates there but I know they are separated by semicolon so I can put them aside now by right clicking on the attributes column I am going to use split column and I need to split by delimiter and my delimiter is going to be a semicolon I need to ensure it's showing a semicolon then I'm going to click OK and I have my other IDs on one side and I have my other dates on the other side I need to make my other dates to be of dates data types replace current and the only thing that has to be done from here is to use or to rename the headers properly 